The most terrible, awesome weapon in the entire game has to be the last prism. It's a moon lore drop, and as you can see, it pierces, I believe, any number of enemies. It causes an unbelievable amount of damage. I reached about 30,000 damage a second just then. It pairs well with the nebula armor, which is the endgame mage armor, and combined, especially when combined with some damage accessories like these emblems, you can do just a tremendous amount of damage. What I have here is really a setup more defensive oriented, but nevertheless I reach almost 200 magic damage. You can easily break that if you're damage focused, but whatever your setup may be, if you use the last prism with the nebula armor, you're going to be doing some incredible DPS. So let's try it out on the three mechanical bosses. The first one is Skeletron Prime. Probably the toughest of the three for this weapon just because you're focusing on several different elements. But even though that's the case, old Skeletron is no match for this weapon. He goes down pretty quickly, even with some mediocre aiming on my part. You will want to hotkey the mana potion key to something that's convenient to you because you're going to be churning through potions like you won't believe. The good thing is, by the time you get all of this gear, you will have a lot of gold and it really won't be an issue paying for it. If you're curious, you can buy mana potions from the wizard. By this point, you ought to have them already. If money is an issue, you can follow a link in the video description and I'll show you how to earn boatloads of platinum from an ocean grinder. So click on that link if you're a little short on change. Next up, of course, is the twins. These are even easier than the last one because it's really only two targets. I would say one, in fact, if they're in line with one another. So they go down incredibly quickly. I, I wish they'd gone down this quickly earlier in the game when I was trying to defeat them for the first time, but what can you do? Speaking of going down quickly, the destroyer is no match for this weapon. Last Prism does extremely well on the destroyer because of its piercing damage. You can hit so many segments at once that it really doesn't stand the chance. So there you have it, and that's all the uh, mechanical bosses dispatched in short order. Last Prism, truly an incredible weapon, very fitting for the end game. And compared to earlier releases of Terraria, I would say it's something that elevates the mage class. I may release some videos in the future showing off more of this weapon, but for now, I think that paints a pretty clear picture for you of just how good this drop is. So if you kill the Moon Lord, I am pulling for you that this item will drop. Definitely worth farming him for it. Thanks for watching the video. Like it if you found it helpful. And feel free to subscribe to the channel.